Hey everybody, today I'm working on an 18 by 24 canvas and I have got my colors right here. The first one is Bright Aqua Green from Liquitex. The second one is Thalo Blue and that is the green shade also from Liquitex. And this one, Liquitex, is Quinacridone Blue Violet. And then I have this one, and that is from Folk Art, and it's Platinum. And then I have white in my bottle, and that is um, Bare um, Interior Satin Enamel. And it's mixed half of the Bare and half of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And everything is mixed with Floetrol water and Liquitex pouring medium. And I didn't add any silicone. So what I'm going to be doing today is a ring pour. See if we can get some cloud effect going on. And so I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with the blue. I usually start with white in the bottom, but I'm going to start with blue today. So we're going to go with some blue, and then I'll do the white. Change it up a bit. See what happens. I'm already spilling it. Jeez. All right, we'll go with some purple next. And then some of this aqua green. We'll see how those two mix. A little more white there. Oh, almost forgot the silver. I'll get some of that in there. Actually, it's not silver, it's platinum. And I'll put a little purple on top of that. That'll be pretty. Maybe. Okay, and we'll go with some more white. Okay, I think I'm actually going to put a little bit more of the aqua. Just a little bit more. Alright, not much. You know what? I don't have a lot of blue, so I'm going to put a little bit more blue on top of that. Because I got blue all the way down on the bottom. And then one more little bit of white. All right, so let me clear out a little bit of stuff here and then I'll be right back. This cup is a um, 18 ounce and it's down just a little bit. So I'm going to say there's at least 16 ounces in here. All right, so I'm going to try to bend it just a little bit. Whoops, all right. <laughs> and here we go.
Okay guys, so I'm gonna take you in for a close-up. I think it turned out pretty good. I do like the spot right there. I think it looks kind of cool. And I did lose most of the purple. You can kind of see it. It's very faint. So I'm hoping that maybe when it dries, like it'll come up, up through a little bit more. But I really like that spot right there. It's kind of cloudy looking. I mean, the whole painting kind of looks cloudy <laughs> just because it's mainly, you know, the white and the blue. The silver's in there faintly as well. But it looks really cool. I like it. All right, so I'm going to let it dry and then I'll be back. All right. Okay, guys, so here's the painting all dry. I'm going to take in for a close up. Now, you can't tell from where I was but as I get in closer you'll be able to see these lines right through here it dried with these lines I'm not sure what caused that because it's not in the whole painting but um, when I showed my husband he thought it looked cool because he said it added more movement to this area like the clouds are pushing their way this way so I thought, okay, that's kind of cool. And I really, really like the dark blue lines. I think it gives it some uh, definition. And of course I like this part here. And the purple is still really, really faint. I can't really get in as close as I would like to for you to see, but it looks really, really pretty. All right, so overall, I am pretty happy with it. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out my links in my description, and have a great day.